ladies and gentlemen this is elsa here and i will be hosting today's event the graduation day for grade 12 students i'm delighted to see all of you with us today parents students and teachers a warm welcome to one of the most significant occasion of the year the graduation of our grade 12 students today we are here to celebrate the end of the school years of our grade 12 class of 2021 together we went through some difficult tasks some moments of elation and some bitter sweet memories when i look at these graduates tonight i feel an immense sense of pride and delight to see all of them ready to take on the challenging world out there it is great to see how the ib program at garodia has molded each of you in different ways without further delay let us proceed with the first event of the day here i present our graduate class of 2021 Our director Mr Nishan Garodia is amidst us today. I invite Mr Garodia to speak a few words to the graduating class. Thank you Elsa. Good evening everyone. It's great to see familiar faces again. Uh, we've been staring at the screen all this year and not been meeting you guys, uh, not me at least the teachers and the SLT has been so It's good to see you guys. Some of you who have been with us right from babies, uh, and uh, it's like just looking at you and seeing those pictures go by. I'm like, oh my God, this is like transformation, you know. And um, it's not just to the IB which has molded. I think it's just you people yourselves. It's the resilience you people have had to do IB even during such tough times in the last two years. It's commendable to you guys. Nothing to do with. Uh, the program or anything just to be able to stick through it and be able to not waver from that you know one aim that yes i want to graduate as an ib student so i think kudos to you and applause to you uh, of course my team has gone beyond and above to make sure that it, they deliver what they are set out to deliver so i am not trying to take that away from them but uh, still i think to be able to mentally challenge yourself during such difficult times is is all your doing and your parents or whoever is your support system they have been able to guide you through this so all the best this is what is needed going forward in the world people such as you guys who can be 
you know, very, very focused and resilient, have courage to be able to deal with any circumstances of what uh, anybody would throw because COVID, nobody knew what this thing. So you could do things during such time. So I'm sure you'll do very well in your life. Wish you all the best. And we hope to see more of you, know more of you wherever, wherever you guys are and share with us how you're progressing, uh, any help or any suggestion, guidance, whatever little we can, we're always here. It's not the end of journey with Garodia. It's a beginning of another life. We always, your family will always remain your family. So all the best and good luck. Your presence and your encouraging words mean a lot to us. How can be any celebration complete without some entertainment? I will be playing now a video of one of the best performances by our HL student, Ms. Suhaya Krishnamurthy. I hope all of you enjoyed it as much as I did. Next, I call upon Mr. Mark Orsin, the form tutor for grade 12, and Ms. Shama Kulkarni, the assistant tutor, to take us through the achievements of our grade 12 students. You will also be able to see their certificates declaring their graduation. Thank you, Ms. Elsa. Good evening to everyone. Graduation is one priceless event that will happen. To your life. Memories will continue to live on as you move on to another chapter of your life. You will encounter new environment, new friends, 
new challenges, but always remember, I, your class teacher, all of your teachers and SLTs of the school will always be here for you. I also want to commend the proud parents of class of 2021. This won't be possible to our students if not for you, for your hard work. Always keep in touch in class of 2021, you are next in line. I got this feeling, uh, let me share it to you. I got this feeling that 2019 is going to be a wonderful year. I first met some of the students during the induction week. And I know that this class will be special. Then I got the message that I will be the class teacher. And for me, that's what I call match made in heaven. Let me describe to you the dynamic class we have. Each one of them has different functions. Leadership grows exponentially with the likes of Aryan, Jeet, and Vedant. Adding the enthusiasm of Sanjana and Rishi is a wonderful thing to see. Fun is multiplied every time Atit, Soham, Gaurish, and Darit is in the class. Creativity is divided among Suhaya, Ira, and Kushi, and we all know this will equate to a wonderful art scene. Factor in the analytical tickers, such as Jay, Satvik, Groove, and Hemel, that are normally distributed. Integral sweetness of Krisha and Aditya gives a smile to everyone. It is my pleasure to present to all of you my beloved class, GICLM, class of 2021. Ira. Ira is the class artist. She shared her talent in the art department of our school musical, The Greatest Showman, our JS Prom, and also helped in the artistic side in organizing MUN Garoja. She will be attending Paris College of Art with 50% scholarship grant. Suhaya is a charming and helpful member of the class who can always be relied upon to carry out any task. She's part of the group that organized the Teacher's Day celebration. Suhaya is one of our lead choreographer in our musical, The Greatest Showman. She is also my assistant in our girls basketball team. She has offer in Flame University, Pune. Aditya is a soap-spoken type of student in class. Do not, do not be misled by this because he shares his time, effort, and talent in helping his peers and his community. Aditya is part of the organizers of this year's MUN with CRY. He also tries his best in anything that he's doing and got highest achiever award in Hindi and most improved award for physics and math last academic year. Aditya will be attending University of Toronto, Rotman. Kushi always makes positive contribution to the class through cheerfulness and enthusiasm. She's into several volunteer work in and outside school sharing her skills, talent, and effort to others. She got several awards in sports and in the arts. Kushi will be attending Mumbai University in the event management program. Grisha has an outgoing personality and is developing a wide range of interests. She always willing to help when asked in fact, she's part of the group that organized Teacher Day 
Teachers' Day celebration and other events in school. She also attends different activities such as swimming and art workshop. Grisha will be attending Mumbai University with an actuarial science degree. Gaurish demonstrates behavior that set a high standard of themselves of an, and of their work. He is a self-motivated worker. Gaurish always lends his helping hand in organizing such events as ICT Fair, German Camp, Teacher's Day Celebration, Gareoji and MUN, and other activities. He got high commendation in the recent Garoja MUN. Gaurish will be attending University of Aberdeen in Scotland. Jay is a focus-oriented student. He, he displays high levels of involvement in self-chosen activities in and outside of school. He is one of the organizer of our GICLM Math Club. He also participated and helped organize the STEM conference. He is pursuing a computer engineering course in Manipal University, India. Soham is a fun-loving student. Never a dull moment with him. He shares his time volunteering with the Lions Club, Happy Feet Home, and Mason Infrastructure. He will be attending Rutgers University, New Brunswick, in the United States of America. Tatvik was the latest addition to our class. He joined the class later than others, but very soon became a part of the cohort. Satvik is a polite student who knows when and how to ask questions. When uh, it is about, and his request and clarification needs to be with the task. With its qualities, it's not surprising for him to pursue an engineering program in India. Good evening, everyone. It is my great pleasure being co-tutor of this graduation class. And I would like to congratulate each one of them for uh, their successful journey. Next, I would introduce Aryan Shah. Aryan is a well-rounded student, talented and questioning. He has a deep, clear and independent approach to his studies, exhibiting a natural aptitude for an engagement towards intellectual debate and analysis. He has a knack for attempting challenging questions and also challenging the hypothesis of his classmates. He has always been enthusiastic in classroom discussions and always tries to relate to different situations, making the subject more interesting. He has achieved awards in academic, arts and sports. He is an articulate, high level critical thinker of real quality with the courage to think against the flow. His total commitment, intellectual ability, and great enthusiasm mark him as a rare talent. Aryan is a leader by example. He was the school's sports captain. Aryan is an all India country topper in IGCSC German exam and also got first prize at B1 level of uh, all India German Olympiad 2020. He will be attending London School of Economics and Political Science, UK. Atit Patel. Atit is one of the most inquisitive in class as he asks relevant questions that are heavily useful to enhance class discussions. He is not hesitant to pose arguments that would further explore a subject and that demonstrates his critical thinking skills. He is one of the recipient of GICLM scholarship. He will be with Stony Brook University, USA, taking up biological sciences. Dhruv Pangera. 
Dhruv is an open-minded and an enthusiastic student. He has always actively participated, not only in all class activities, but also in various extracurricular activities in and outside school. His creative German music video, along with colleague Hemel, emerged in winning entry at Buthe Music Video Competition. Dhruv's photos of the city of Mumbai were selected for an intercultural photo project celebrating 50 years of partnership between Stuttgart and Mumbai and were exhibited in the town hall of Stuttgart and at, at the art gallery in Mumbai. Dhruv has also lived up to his role as dynamic schoolhouse captain of Agni House and discharged his duties with great efficiency. Dhruv's engagement as director journal of Garodia Mumbai 2020 and playing the lead role in the school musical, The Greatest Showman are, now, are, are also noteworthy indeed. He will be attending Indiana University, Purdue University in USA. <laughs> Hamil Shah. Hamil is a fun-loving student who is always keen on gaining knowledge of all types. He got achievement award in math and chemistry. Hamil is one of the organizer of GICLM German Club. He's the captain of champion cricket team in the school inter-house competition. He will be attending Penn State University Park. Jeet. Jeet is well-mannered student. His critical thinking makes him high achiever both in academics and in sports. Jeet has also shown his leadership skills as well as good communication and research skills through his participation in various Model United Nations conferences where he was awarded as Best Delegate Award at GICLMMUN in the Security Council Committee and High Commendation in Diplomathon 2018. Jeet was school house captain for the academic year 2019-20 where he proved to be a very good leader. He was also one of the founder of German language club in the school year 2020. He was awarded a German language scholarship camp by Goethe Institute. Jeet will be attending Frankfurt School of Finance and Management, Germany. <laughs> Sanjana Lakpatwala. Sanjana is a very dedicated student with a positive attitude. She's a high achiever and focused learner. Sanjana got multiple awards in school, such as highest in math and French in grade 11. She also got leadership award and best delegate in Garodia MUN. She always took part in activities like annual concert, art week or singing performances in school with great enthusiasm. She was also one of the founder of Artistic Help Active Initiative as CAS project during her IB years. Sanjana is also one of the organizer of math club in school. She is one of the most promising student of our batch. She will be attending University of Toronto in Canada. <laughs> Vedant Sangri. Vedant is a hardworking and reliable student. He is always there for his peers anytime they need him. Testament to that. He was elected as our class representative. Vedan is a frequent participant of MUN and even became secretary gen general for MUN Garodia 2020. He is going to complete his DGCA pilots licensing here in India, then moving to Aeronautical University in Los Angeles, USA. <laughs> Dharik Vora. Bharat has an outgoing personality and is developing a wide range of interests. He is always willing to help when asked. In fact, he is a part of the group that organized IC3 Fair and Teachers Day celebration. He got academic award for chemistry in grade 11. Bharat acts with natural drive and curiosity in whatever he does. He created and coded his own quadcopter drone capable of flying at speed of 20 to 25 km per hour. He is pursuing biological sciences in University of Maryland, Baltimore, USA. Rishi Shah. 
talented and questioning. He has a deep, clear and independent approach to his studies, exhibiting a natural aptitude for an engagement towards intellectual debate and analysis. He has a knack for attempting challenging questions and also challenging hypotheses of classmates. He has always been enthusiastic in classroom discussions and always tries to relate to different situations, making subject more interesting. Apart from academics, he was also founder of chess club and math club in school. He is also national chess player. He has been participated in many model United Nations conferences. Rishi did four internship programs in the field of cells, operations, networking and computer engineering. He is planning to pursue business management from Mumbai University along with the course of Chartered Accountancy. I would like to congratulate all our students on this graduation day and wishing them all the best for their future endeavors. Over to Elza, ma'am. Thank you, Mark and Shama. You made us recollect the numerous achievements of each one of these students. Now, I invite our head of secondary, Mr. Patrick Moore, to announce the GICLM Spirit Award. Patrick, sir, over to you. Thank you, Elsa. Good evening, everyone. It's my pleasure to be presenting the Gerodia Spirit Award. You may not know it, but this award is given to the student who best personifies the school ethos and ambitions. This individual demonstrates excellence in their academic studies and sets very high standard, not just for herself, but for others around her. They demonstrate the lessons of honesty, ethics, and show good practice to their peers. They work effectively and willingly in collaboration with others and act with integrity and with a strong sense of fairness and respect for the dignity of other individuals. They understand and appreciate their own culture and they're open to the perspective, values and traditions of others in their community. This individual shows empathy and compassion towards the needs and feelings of others and have shown a personal commitment to service to make a positive difference to the lives of others. Simply put, this person inspires others with their quiet self-confidence, humility and warmth. Parents, teachers and students, I'm very pleased to say that the Garodia Spirit Award goes to Sanjana Lakpawala. Thank you, Mr. Patrick. Many congratulations to you, Sanjana. You truly deserve it. Next, I would like to invite our CAS coordinator, Ms. Priya Mehta, to give us an account of the varied CAS activities undertaken by these students. Ms. Priya. Thank you, Ms. Elsa. Good evening, everyone. It is indeed a pleasure to see all of you after so long. So um, I would like to start with a brief introduction about CAS. CAS stands for Creativity, Activity and Service, and it forms a part of the core of the IB program. It enables students to demonstrate attributes of the IB learner profile in real and practical ways. It addresses students' cognitive, social, emotional and physical well-being and offers opportunities for students to become active and caring members of the local, national and global communities. CAS also encourages students to grow both personally and socially developing skills such as cooperation, problem solving, conflict resolution, creativity and critical thinking, as well as developing their own identities. Students also learn how to set challenging goals and develop the commitment and perseverance to achieve them. So let's have a glimpse of our students' CAS experience and contributions over the last two years, out of which the last year especially was particularly challenging with the lockdown restrictions and online school. It was indeed a pleasure and a pleasant surprise to see that our students adapted to these challenges very quickly and positively. So here I present a few of the activities that our students participated in over the last 18 years of the CAS program. So the CAS program started with an orientation trip where students were taken to Dhanu. 
There they helped a farmer transplant rice onto a flooded field. They served the midday meal to students of a local school and they interacted with the students. They made teaching aids, cooked a meal for the tribal children. They trekked and learned Wadi art and the art of making a hut with cow dung and clay. Some students joined Access Life, an NGO which helps children suffering from cancer. Our students taught them art and played games with them. Some students taught football to children from Happy Feet Home, which is a hospice for children suffering from AIDS and thalassemia. Some students also taught math and science to children of a municipal school that is associated with Krai. And some taught children from Robin Hood Army. Students also carried out a stationary drive at uh, wherein they collected a lot of used and unused stationery, packed them and distributed them to children from the Matoshri Municipal School. A Christmas party was organized for children from the Robin Hood Army and Happy Feet Home, and our children cooked for them as well as entertained them. Some of our children who love to cook, they pro provided special Sunday meals over the lockdown to children from Happy Feet Home. Some of our students also serve food to construction workers during the lockdown. Some students organize the GICL MUN MUN, uh, GICL M MUN, which was a unique experience as not only was it held online to celebrate Children's Day, but the issues discussed also revolved around child rights. The proceeds were donated to crime. Our students also ran several clubs online, like the German club, math club, chess club, art club, etc. Um, apart from all these uh, activities that were mentioned, students carried out many more service, uh, many more activities under the service strand. Some of uh, those activities, uh, namely, are packing medicines, volunteering for various events, donating PPE kits participating in cleanup drives, rescuing animals, volunteering in health drive. Under the creativity strand, our students carried out quite a lot of um, CAS activities. Um, they, uh, they, uh, they carried out CAS activities like trying new crafts, learning how to cook, learning screenplay, participating in photography and editing workshops, learning leaf cutting art, making mandalas, learning the art of mehndi, learning stick figure drawings, learning how to bake a cake, free form heart expression, flight simulation, learning how to play a guitar and lots more. Under the activity strand, students participated in yoga workshops, dance workshops, long distance cycling, skipping rope workouts, gym, climbing stairs during the lockdown, and many more activities. Before we conclude, I would like to add that it is an honor for me to, to announce the winners of the CAS Award. This award is presented to students who have shown exceptional enthusiasm, passion, and commitment and zeal over the last 18 months of the CAS program. It was a very difficult decision to make as all of our students participated in their own unique ways based on their skill sets. And this year is again unique as we have two winners who equally deserved this award. Our first winner is a super enthusiastic participant with an ever ready positive attitude and always willing to help. He especially was recognized by Krai for his contributions as a volunteer during the national award ceremony. He wants to become a pilot and has participated in many simulated flights. He cycles long distances regularly and actively participates in NUNs. The list of activities that he participates in and his contribution to the community is very long, but I will stop here. I know that you have guessed by now, I was referring to Vedan Sangvi. Well done, Vedant, and I hope that the fire of passion and grit in you always burns bright. Our next winner is a student who never says no, 
she is eager and very talented her artistic skills are exemplary i remember the first time i met her she got sick during a trek due to the heat but still she did not give up and managed to cover to complete most of the trek her determination is really noteworthy she has participated in a lot of community service activities and played an active role in events requiring creative skills she has been an illustrator for various magazines and youtube videos and has successfully run the art club yes it's ira sampat well done ira and all the best ira for a very bright and artistic future i would like to conclude by saying that today when i look back at all that our children have managed to achieve in cas along with the rigorous ipdp requirements it really makes me feel very proud and joyful about their achievements and contributions all the best dear students for a very bright future keep shining and do keep in touch thank you thank you priya congratulations vedant and ira next i request our head of school mr ian davis to deliver the keynote address for the day thank you uh, thank you everyone and i i i'm a, like you i am amazed ms priya at the amazing contra- contributions that the students have managed to achieve over the past two years with the cas program and the list of their individual awards um and projects that they've been involved in is exemplary so thank you and well done to everyone so ladies and gentlemen families and most of all graduates of 2021 despite the travails of the world and in mumbai over the past year it is always a privilege to honor and respect the achievements of our graduates as their current journey branches off into various directions and new experiences i sincerely believe that together with your teachers you have established a very strong foundation for your future success over the years as i have gone through the stages of my own life living my own journey i always find myself reflecting about the important aspects of who i am and who i've become and more often than not i find myself thinking about my old school and the impressions that it's left on me yes there are teachers who you know will leave a lifetime's imprint on you even though you might not realize it completely now but their values and their ethics you will try to model yourselves on i believe very strongly that you will come to understand the phrase that i've begun to hear very often over the past few years once a gerodian always a gerodian so what is it that connects all gerodia ib graduates what is it that the current group tonight will take forward with them and have a connection wherever they are in the world i believe it's the very fact that they have experienced an education that deals with the essence and the importance of being human importantly this gives us a clue about the kind of society that we aspire to create and in which you graduates tonight will become its future leaders without these human qualities everything else is meaningless so what ones can we identify compassion towards and an interest in others for sure international mindedness honesty justice equality cultural awareness collaboration tolerance and empathy with the ib gerodia is precisely preparing you in this way developing a certain quality of humanness that enriches your future lives i also hope that we have given you a vision of striving for greatness and making possible what seems unlikely and it's a vision not just founded on academic um foundations and scores but more importantly a vision founded on moral and ethical pillars fired by the human spirit that says tomorrow must be better than today these values serve as a compass they are both aspirational and essential 
and they enrich our very being, giving us our identity. In essence, over the past two years, you've become citizens of the world with a spirit of discovery and the knowledge to make a difference. And that's why Garodia is so special. It has a heart, a soul, and a passion for what it does in true human terms. The Dalai Lama recently told an audience that to evolve a better world, the old ways of thinking about education were no longer adequate. Education, he said, must find a way to reach the whole of humanity and be founded on warm heartedness. A quaint phrase perhaps, but its simpleness has a great power when applied. Kofi Annan, the ex-Secretary General of the United Nations, spoke frequently of recognizing the dignity of difference. To me, valuing human diversity and wanting to make a positive impact in the world, not just for yourselves, but for others, is what it is all about. As products of Garodia, you graduate with the skills to make the vital difference in the world. So when you look at that stranger for the first time, remember, we all smile with the same language. One thing is clear to me, and that is what enables Garodia graduates to stand apart from others is a shared understanding that quite simply says, people matter, human beings are important. So as you travel to different corners of the world, please take time to listen to other people's stories, to be entertained by their lives and to be absorbed by their hopes and dreams. They can only enrich your own. Ladies and gentlemen, every year we have a unique group of students and this year is no different. I wish to pay homage to the people that have really ensured that you are successful and sitting here tonight. A quite exceptional caring teaching staff and tutors, Mr. Mark and Ms. Kashama, who have subtly guided and supported you, allowed you to make mistakes, but only with the sense that you can get up from them, learn and become better as a result. A superb university guidance counselor, Ms. Sushetta, an inspirational CAS coordinator in Ms. Priya, and a sage-like extended essay coordinator in Ms. Vidya. All of you led ably by the key person who provides the vision, leadership and the cement that holds it all together, our DP coordinator, Ms. Elsa. I would also like to thank the board and Mr. Nishant for their role in always supporting the school in its endeavors. I assure you that although they remain in the background, they are in the forefront of taking pride in the achievements of the diploma students. Lastly, and for many most importantly, I would like to honor the parents and the families of our graduates. You provide an invaluable support to all that we do and your good words and deeds continue to spread good communication and messages that come from Garodia and make everything that we do so much better. So graduates, you have a responsibility to change the world for the better. You have a responsibility to your parents and to yourselves. And you have a responsibility to look after all of us older people. So don't fail us for goodness sake. All we have done is hopefully point you in the right direction. As I sit here, I'm in awe of these graduates who have transformed the lives of young people already. These graduates have done more for the good of humanity at their age than most people on this planet. And that's why they're special. A little bit of idealism is not a bad thing. Are we idealistic here at GICLM? I sincerely hope so. So graduates, we've tried to inspire you all. Now is the time for you to go and inspire the world. I wish you all the very, very best. Wherever life may take you, whatever goals you seek, remember that you're special. Remember that your talents are unique. So good luck to you all, and may your dreams come true many, many, many times over. 
parents, guests, I would normally ask you to be upstanding in a toast. That's not possible at this time. So I would like you to turn on all of your microphones and give three loud cheers, as loud as we can, to celebrate the graduation of our students. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the GICLM IB graduates of 2020. words of wisdom for our students to follow in their future path. Now I invite Ms. Sanjana Lakpatwala, one amongst the class of 2021, to share a few words with you on behalf of the class. Thank you, ma'am, and hello, students, parents, and teachers. Well, we finally did it. We successfully completed two years of IB without dropping out. This year has been exceptionally difficult for all of us because of lockdown, online school, and this type of IB hitting us simultaneously. But I'm proud to say, I think we made the best of a bad situation. We're finally done with high school. And even though we spent the last year stuck in our rooms, and it had no resemblance to that of a regular senior year, we managed to have fun and spend time together. While it was a very difficult year, I highly doubt we have too much to complain about. For the first time, we could use lack of connectivity as a reason to bunk school. Or if we were bored of a class, we didn't rejoin after the first 40 minutes of the lecture, or we just left saying that the internet cut off. It was a year where we played games on our laptops, scrolled through Instagram, or even watched Netflix in a class without getting into trouble. We could also openly chat on Zoom, asking each other answers to the question the teacher was asking while in reality, none of us really knew it. It was a fun year despite the unfortunate circumstances. And I'm sure all of us unanimously enjoyed one particular moment, which was the day that Ivy announced that the exams were being canceled. I'm sure this will be a day we all remember in our short lives as the fear of revising two years of work was lifted off our shoulders. I will always remember small parts of these last two years because these are our last years of school before we move on to university. I hope one day to see all of you in newspapers so that I can think back to these two years and remember that these were my friends. I look forward to getting to know your accomplishments as each of us goes on our individual journeys. And I will eagerly wait for our reunions to revisit this chapter of our lives. Up until now, we shared a common destination, the IB graduation. And from this point on, our destinations will diverge. And I wish you all the best on your own paths. For now, we have three months until we are all in different countries. And I hope we make the most of it. I hope to create more memories and strengthen our bonds before we head off to our new lives in India, America, Germany, Australia, all over the world, under the notion that we will call each other every week. Let us try and stay as close as we are now even when we are miles apart. I look forward to a time when we can finally look back on our squabbles and laugh about how we used to be. I will surely miss the constant bickering and the small fights that now seem insignificant. But I know that each of us will keep these memories with them as we move on to the next stages of our lives. And we will always carry the values we learned during our time in GICLM. I think all of us have many people to thank for getting us through the last two years. And that's exactly what I intend to do now. Firstly, we should thank each other for supporting one another during such trying times. I don't think that I would have been able to do anything without breaking down from the consistent stress if I didn't have my friends with me. The last two years would have been unbelievably difficult without the cons constant support we provided each other. I also believe we need to thank our parents and teachers. Our teachers have aided us consistently during our program with a good word before a test, working after school hours, or with words of appreciation and encouragement. They always supported us. The reason for our success spawns from their work and dedication. And I cannot just name one teacher, because many have affected and helped us along the way. We are all aware of the teachers who have stayed up late and collected 20 drafts of our IAs, EE, and TOK essays, who have had countless sessions with us to improve them, and have committed their time to help us. And I believe they deserve our thanks. 
we should also recognize the significance of the role that our primary teachers played in our lives by building a strong foundation of love and learning. I would also like to thank Ms. Elza, our IB coordinator, who ensured we re remain focused over the program. Mr. Garodia and Mr. Davies, for without them, most of us wouldn't have met and we would be with very different people living completely different lives. Additionally, our parents. They are the reason we even have the opportunity to attend such a school. They helped us make our way through kindergarten to high school and are going to be our support even when we're at university. My parents have involved themselves in my life for the longest time, always ready to stand as two pillars in the situation where I fall. And I thank them for all that they have given me and I'm sure will continue to give me in the future. I also know that our grandparents have been very helpful to us during the school years as they gave us a way out of the constant stress when they told us old stories or just asked us for help with their phones. I thank my grandparents for always being there to listen to even the smallest problems I've had. Lastly, for those of us who have them, I think we should thank our siblings as they provided us with a chance of normalcy in our lives during this pandemic, sometimes annoying us, playing with us and more helping us cope through the last two years. Without having the intention to bore you all, I aim to keep this speech, like me, short and sweet. And so I'll end with this. While we haven't had the most normal school year, we have our memories. And I'm grateful to all of you for even the smallest impact you've had on my life. I wish you all the very best and thank you for being part of my school life. Thank you. Thank you, Sanjana. I'm sure that your speech brought back many memories for your classmates. Moving on, Ms. Suvidi Bhushan, one of our grade 10 students, is here with a melodious song, The Summer of 69. Suvidi, over to you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Good evening, everyone.
Thank you, everyone. Well sung, Subhidi. Thank you. Once again, I invite our head of school, Mr. Yin, to announce the most prestigious award of the day, the International Student of the Year. Mr. Yin, over to you. Thank you, Ms. Elsa. Yes, it was, it was lovely to see Suhaya's mum singing along with the words there. We all remember back to our youth and some of those words. So thank you indeed for those memories for ourselves as well. Um, let's get to the International Student of the Year. This is the most, most prestigious award of the, of the evening. Each year, we give public recognition to a student who best exemplifies outstanding international citizenship. This is expressed by a clear commitment to sustained interaction with students of other nationalities languages or ethnic backgrounds, political economic systems in a spirit of international understanding. This award is an acknowledgement of outstanding achievement to date with the sincere hope that the recipient's future will continue to be marked by such a commitment. The student should speak at least two languages and their name is forwarded to the IB to be placed on their website for three months. The award this year goes to a student who has been at the heart of the GICLM IB programme, always leading by example and sensitive to the needs of others. Even more, this person has changed the lives of others for the better and been a constant inspiration to students of all ages and a role model to their peers. Their very demeanour exemplifies an international perspective and they have done Garodia proud. Ladies and gentlemen, the Garodia International Student of the Year for 2021 is Ayan Shah. Congratulations, Ayan. Congratulations, Arin. I'm sure that everyone here will agree with me that you have earned this award with your diligence and good conduct. Congratulations to all the graduates for completing the diploma and securing admission to such esteemed universities. Wish you all the best for a bright future. As we come towards the end of the program, let me take a moment to thank some of the key people who have been involved in the enhancement of these students. My sincere thanks to all of you parents for supporting us in all our efforts. I thank all the teachers who put in their tremendous effort to train and polish the skills of these students in academics as well as in extracurricular areas. My special thanks to Ms. Sucheta who has guided them throughout and led them to their university destination. I thank Mr. Ian and Mr. Patrick who have always been a mentor and guide to them. So. Class of 2021, it is time to say goodbye, but let me assure you that you have made your mark in Garudia and in our minds. 